planner people I'm back again with another plan with me video for the month of May and today I am super excited because I am going to be using pretty on papers mystery kit I'm going to first show you the mystery kit and then do the plan with me video I have my homemade iced coffee ready and if you'd like to know how I make it um, ask me down below and I'll be more than happy to show you without further ado let's get started the first thing that pretty on papers mystery kit came with was a Stettler triple plus fine liner pen I love these pens the mystery kit came in a sleeve Inside we have some extra goodies. So the first extra goodie is this adorable bookmark and it has the magnet closure. I love how it's double sided. We have a Pretty on Paper Co. mystery kit on sale and it's got the most adorable little mermaid. This kit was in collaboration with Paige from Creating and Co. So she gave us a beautiful decor sheet filled with pastries and wonderful sayings. I am such a quote girl and this is an awesome page. Not only do you get this decor sheet with quotes, but you also get extra decors, date cover-ups, and icons in this mystery kit. Just looking at this makes my mouth water. <laughs> Heading into the basics of the kit, we have the headers to do today, bits and bobs, double stitch labels, our heart lists, weekend banners, two bill dues, canceled, Netflix wins, and rescheduled. Full boxes, additional ombre heart check boxes, event bars with some extra headers, half boxes, a side building bar, water bottles, a planner, and a date night. Solid washi strips and single washi tapes. Taking my full boxes, I'm going to start by placing them in the top boxes. to go in with the full boxes and just place them slightly below my headers. I'm actually going to leave the rest of the decorative boxes and head in with my to-dos and my two days. I'm going to go in with the half boxes and match them up to the two days over there. And there's going to be a tiny bit showing through. Oopsies, I do want to move this down. I thought I had moved it far enough down, but I guess not. So I'm going to pull this back up, okay? And then I'm going to put my half box down. I'm going to use this full decorative box over here and then I'm also going to use this decorative box on Sunday. I'm going to use a large washi tape here as well as on this side. I'm going to take my weekend banner and place it right in this mid section here. See if I can get it straight. So this is straight, but the sticker above it definitely is not. So I will leave the weekend banner and then I will reposition my washi strip much better. And then I'm going to take my half boxes. Yay! I'm going to go ahead and just place down my washi strips. I find the easiest way to place down these larger washi strips, um, especially for the bottom bar, is to just kind of place it all at once and then pat down on either side. So it gets placed in one straight line. I'm going to do the other one. It looks like pink marble ice cream. I love it so much. I'm going to take my last full box and I'm going to place it above my thankful thought. And then on top of the thankful thought, I'm going to take Creating & Co. 
toast stickers. Stressed is just desserts backwards. I love that. And so I'm going to go ahead and place it. It does look really cute there. I'm so glad. Okay, I'm going to place this to clean sign. I think I'm going to move this up and give it the same amount of room on either side. So it looks like a cohesive flow, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to take the buildable sidebar and place it down. Go in with an important sign right below here. I'm going to take this little box and I'm going to use it to write down the steps that I have taken for this week because it's just a really nice amount of space for that purpose. And then I'm going to use this to put some habits down that I want to work on for this week. Because it is a little bit shorter, I'm going to stick a washi tape underneath it. This one. I'm going to place my little things symbols. Let's go ahead and work with the meals. one TV symbol on top of each of the meal planners because I like I said I'm finishing up my full house thank you by the way for all of your recommendations I am super excited to look into all of them I'm going to put this little label over here with the birthday cake because it is my friend Jess's birthday. I'm also going to use the stars for my Instagram posts because I really am trying to post once a day. I don't have any more of those star stickers. However, I do have lots of TV stickers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these TVs and I'm just going to cover them up with an asterisk. It's really nice that she has so many bars in this kit. For one, you can use them for multiple weeks, but secondly, you can change them up as you need them, right? Double stitch labels on Tuesday and Thursday. Perfect, and then I'm going to put the bits and bobs down. This is such an amazing kit. Every time I look at the stickers that I have left, I'm blown away. For instance, this is already looking like a really great spread, and then I look at these, and I think, oh my, I still have the date cover-ups for this kit. I don't even know if I want to use them because the date cover-ups look so nice, and I could save these for future spreads. I don't even know. I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to start. I don't think I've ever used date cover-ups before, which is so cool. Like, I've ordered them, I have them, but I don't think I've yet used them. actually going to save the hearts for something else because I do love how the date is popped up like this and then it has the pretty pink numbers. So I'm going to save my hearts for something else and I'm going to go ahead and start adding some decor and some labels and some good stuff. And it says cake is my happy place and I'm just going to put it right over here. I have a feeling I need to put something down here. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to use some of these labels and I'm just going to place it right in the middle and then I'm going to take this water bottle and I'm just going to place it right on top. I'm so excited. Let's do this. I can even keep track of how many calories I've burned in that day on this bar. Got all those down. They look absolutely the cutest and like I said I can use these for keeping track of the calories that I have burned. This for the water. I'm going to start adding some of the decorative elements to my spread because they are the cutest. So cute. Okay I think that is 
everything for this week for this spread. If you'd like to go ahead and check out Chrissy Lily at Pretty on Paper, tell her I said hi. She's an absolutely fantastic girl. If you guys have any questions or comments, or maybe this is your birthday week, let me know down below. I love hearing from you. Have a very sweet week, and bye for now.